with an unhaul video. I'm about to head out to my local thrift store to go pick up some new clothes so I decided I should probably drop off all of the books that I'm getting rid of this month. I have a total of 11 I think that I'm going to be bringing back to the thrift store so without further ado let us get started. The first book that I have is because I have a duplicate of it. The author ended up sending me two of them from when I won a giveaway and I don't need two copies and I don't really have anybody to give the book to and I haven't even read it yet so I don't know if it's good or not so I'm like I don't really want to give it to somebody and then it ends up being terrible and they're like what the heck I'm never taking book recommendations from you again because then I'll be sad. But it is Zara Zion and a Mailstorm of Secrets by Melissa Ann Peters. Like I said I never read it so I don't know if it's good or not but it's about a mermaid and mermaids are pretty cool so. The next book I have is because I have two copies of it and I recently like rearranged all my books and I realized that I had two copies of this and I was like I don't really need two copies so. It is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I've never actually read this but I figured that the hardcover is way chunkier than the paperback so to make more room on my shelf because I have too many books, I uh, decided to get rid of the chunkier one. Still haven't read it though. The next book I have is Genuine Fraud by E. Lockhart. I think I gave this like a 3 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed it while I read it, but I was kind of confused the entire time. I'm never going to reread it, so I'm like, we need space for the new books that I'm going to buy because we all know that I'm going to buy new books. So going back to the thrift store. The next book I have is Side Effects May Vary by Julie Murphy and I enjoyed this kind of. I think I gave it a three out of five stars but the two main characters really pissed me off and I was just not about it. So I'm never going to reread it even though I really like the cover. It's like super simple and cute but there's no point having it on my shelf if I'm never going to read it. Am I right ladies? I'm right. The next book I have is also by Julie Murphy and it is Ramona Blue. It's an ARC and I recently picked up a full copy of it so I don't need the ARC anymore. The next book that I'm getting rid of is because it was a stupid book and had stupid lines and I will tell you one of those lines but it is The Creeping by Alexander Soroy and I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't like this one because I loved her other book The Telling. This one has literally the stupidest line in the entire world. The line is, wait a bloody tampon second. Like who thought that this was a good idea to write in a book? I don't know. Like Alexander Soroy apparently but I'm like bummed about this one too because I love the cover. I think it's like so pretty but the story inside <laughs> not pretty. The next book I'm going to send to the thrift store is because I just found it completely boring. It's What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. It was just boring and nothing happened for 400 pages. I don't understand why this book was 400 pages. It could have been 200 pages and gotten the exact same story across but I'm sad about this one because it's purple and purple is my favorite color and I just want to keep it on my shelf because it's purple but not a good book. The next book I have is Diary of a Haunting and this is by M. Verano and I was super excited about this because it's based off of a true story but then I read it and it was not Good. It has like really creepy pictures which is why I like originally bought it was because I like when books have like mixed media in it but it was a total letdown so hopefully someone else will like it better than me. Next I have Cracked and this is by K.M. Walton and it was enjoyable when I read it but never gonna pick it up again so I don't need it on my shelf so it's getting sent to the thrift store. The next book I have is a graphic novel and it's Animus by Antoine Ravoy and I just thought it was super boring. I think I gave it a two out of five stars. There's like no color. It's black and white and your girl likes bright colorful graphic novels so it just wasn't for me. I didn't find the story interesting so hopefully someone else will like it more than I did. And then the final book that I have I'm really bummed that I didn't like it because I really wanted to but it's Before I Let Go by Marike Nijkamp and I just found it so boring when I read it like I just didn't connect with any of the characters. I didn't care what happened to them. I didn't care about the story behind Lost Alaska like I just didn't care so I don't need it on my shelf because I don't care. Alright guys, so that was my unhaul video. Let me know down below if you've read any of these and what you thought of them. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>